Hey, welcome to Max Exercise TV. I'm here at the Fit Factory in West 27th Street here in Manhattan. Today I'm going to show you the difference between muscle hypertrophy and muscle endurance. Right now with me I have three dumbbells. I have a 10 pound, 15 pound, and a 25 pound. I'm going to show you what happens as your muscles develop when you're using um, different weights. Alright, let's start with the 10 pound. So, if we're doing something like uh, dumbbell uh, bicep curls, for example, when you're doing bicep curls, if the weight you're doing is fairly, fairly light, number one, you'll notice that your movement is able to go much faster because it's very light for you. Now, if you decide to do only a certain amount of reps, for example, if you range anywhere from six to eight reps, that focuses on hypertrophy. Hypertrophy deals with muscle size. So you take a certain weight, you do that certain amount of reps, the body starts to focus on increasing the size to adapt to that resistance. If I was to do that, that's what would work. But that's what it would work on. Now, this is fairly light to me. So if I was to do that number of reps, it wouldn't be that much development because this is a very light weight. But if I was to continue and I did more than that, so let's say I did 12 or 15 or more, my muscle would eventually start to burn out because of the endurance of the number of reps that I'm doing. So now the muscle is going to go from size to endurance. And the way it develops is that it goes from big and it starts to get a little smaller but it gets a little bit more compacted because now it's focusing on how long it can sustain that same force. That's what muscle endurance is. So if I was to do this for a long period of time, that's how my muscle would develop. Now, let's say I go to 15. So this is a 15 pound dumbbell. I start to do the same thing. Initially, my body's gonna work on adapting it, adapting to the weight by increasing its size. That's what would happen. So I do my bicep curl, I have to use more force, so the muscle's gonna initially increase in size first. As I increase my reps, it will no longer increase its size, it's gonna focus on just getting more compacted. So it's gonna just get a little smaller, but you'll start to notice that muscle's a little bit more just focused on its endurance. So it's not gonna swell up after a while. And if you go to a heavy weight, like a 25, the same thing's gonna happen. You have to exert more force to curl it up. So the muscle is going to swell up to adapt to whatever that new resistance is. As you increase your reps with the same weight, it'll start to focus on endurance. That's why a lot of times when you see someone develop, you can see the difference between a bodybuilder and the difference between someone who might just have a really great physique, or they might be very, very chiseled, so to speak. They usually do, a person who is very chiseled focuses on cardio in addition to strength training. A bodybuilder focuses more so on strength training and almost little to no cardio. Now, when you're doing this, curling this, remember, it's gonna start focusing on size first. But if I increase the number of reps and it starts to go from 12 to 15, or sometimes people might go to 30, now it's just gonna focus on that muscle endurance. So it might start to get a little more defined but not necessarily slow in size. So when you're working out, it's very important for you to figure out what type of muscle development are you going for. Are you trying to look like a bodybuilder? Are you just trying to look like you want to shred fat, lose weight, or look cut? It's all dependent on how you do things. Now, if you increase your intensity, here's a good example. So with this 25, if I go nice and slow, it's going to work on that muscle building. But let's say I decided to work on intensity and I go faster. Now I'm actually incorporating a little bit of cardio because I'm speeding up my intensity, which means I'm also speeding up my heart rate. That is also a great way to help develop the muscle in a way where it gets even more chiseled or more defined. So these are some of the facts you wanna keep in mind when you're approaching exercise. Always take your time when you do every exercise. Don't start with a heavy weight and start doing the weight fast. That's definitely not the best thing to do and it's definitely not safe. Always make sure you're comfortable with the weight before you make that decision. If it's a weight that you can manage, then you can start to decide whether or not you're going to continue going slow or you might speed it up. 
So always take your time with each and every week that you do. I'll see you guys next time. Good night, your life.